In the last webcast together, uh, we saw how to display data in a custom and handmade ASP.NET website that was u that, we, that 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 is based and that's using the uh, business object model produced by the BOM producer and uh, a persistence layer in SQL Server that is also produced by the SQL Server producer of Confluent entities. Now it's cool that we can display data and uh, we can right now on the screen you can see the contact list web page that we created last time uh, where we're listing all users stored in database now what we want to do is have a similar screen in which we'll be able to create uh, read update and delete data so those all those operations are uh, 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 provided uh, by default in the business object model. Now, what we need to do is uh, create a UI which uh, which is uh, built upon and uh, sustained by those features in the BOM. So, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to add a new web page uh, that I will call that is called Contact Insert, and which I uh, developed prior to this uh, webcast. And so the contact insert is basically the same as the um, uh, contact list web page. Uh, I have two controls, I standard ISP.NET controls, one being an object data source, which is just like uh, the contact list one, and another one which instead of being a, a, a grid view is a details view since we're not, uh, we're not manipulating a collection of instances but only a single instance and in our case uh, not only uh, will we want to manipulate a single instance more specifically we would like to insert that a new instance in the database so that's why our object data source is a little different than the contact list data source uh, because it has an extra attribute that is configured which is the insert method and you can see that the insert method is mapped onto the insert uh, method in in the BOM, and this method is is uh, generated by default by the BOM producer. This insert method is actually f very straightforward. It basically calls the save method of of our object. So if you take a look at it, it takes as a parameter an instance, and then basically only saves that instance using the standard save method uh, generated by our uh, by our BOM producer. So if we get back to that uh, contact insert web page, so we get this as well. You can see that our select method is no longer the loadal method of the contact collection uh, class, but uh, the load by entity key of the contact class, um, and it takes as a parameter the key parameter of the query string and the details view consumes that data source which is declared right here and uh, is by default in insert mod so by default it will map into the insert method and will allow users to type in data and then in our details view we specify the, 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 the desired fields we only have two bound fields which are the first name and last name and then we're using a template field in which uh, in which which will serve us as a container to display any errors that might occur during the uh, insert insert process. So this is our insert method. So what we're going to do is right here. I'm going to add a new tab, and uh, we're going to get on that insert page. Okay, and so you can see this uh, very small uh, form. So if ever we type in a new user, we just go test test, click OK. There, and you can see here that if I update my page, I got a new user that was created named test and test. Okay, that's great. So now I can create new data. Now what we need to do is uh, add a new web page where I can. Uh, update my my existing data. So I got one which is called contact edit, and it's exactly the same code as the contact insert. Instead that uh, instead 
of having my insert method here I have an update method that is mapped onto my save method and um, and I got the exact same details view here which consumes this data source now what we're going to do is instead of having a our, our very simple contact list we're going to have a little more sophisticated one named manage contact list where I have this uh, object data source which supports delete, insert and save and uh, I do have a grid view in it but I have an extra column here named actions which will allow me to delete and um, modify by calling my contact edit ispx web page uh, with the with the key set to the current instance in my grid so if instead of using the contact list ispx page we go back to the manage contact list there we go so we got our lines we can see our test user right there so if ever I go and and edit that test user using my so here we're using the contact edit that I expect web page as you can see here and I got the key uh, corresponding to the ID of my entity right there click OK you can see that my user was updating right here and so if now I, if ever I want to delete it I just click on delete and it will call the delete method in my bomb which will call the delete stored procedure in my uh, persistence layer which deletes the line in the database so as you can see this is 100% functional and uh, I had no code behind to add I was only using standard ISP.NET controls and all that was done de declaratively uh, in my ISP.NET web pages so this is it for this uh, webcast and I hope to see you soon on another one bye bye